Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the range that Bitcoin has finally broken out of. Obviously this over a month long consolidation, we have broken it, back tested that range and now trading in a really compressed area. So I'm going to be explaining to you all how I am looking to trade this and uh, you know how we got to this price point which I, I promise you is going to be very very interesting and uh, you know beneficial. So uh, yeah make sure you stick around, watch the video and uh, yeah, let's proceed with the information I'm going to spew at you. Uh, it's going to be brilliant. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm looking forward to give you this video. I truly feel it's going to be very helpful. Uh, so what we obviously had to, to get us here, okay, from our low up to our high, came down, back tested the 618 support, okay, which was actually confluence with our weekly. If I put this on a second, so onto our uh, overall levels here, you can see that we had the weekly on that 618. So, you know, we had really good support at this level, 6,900. From that 6,900, we obviously expanded to the upside, uh, falling very shy of our negative 618. You can see here how we hit the negative 236, got a reaction and just got front run very slightly. Just as we came through to 618 here, we then got front run slightly on the negative uh, 618. Uh, you know, that was a, a really important level, obviously at 8,460 topping out. We were seeing, you know, four confluence factors at this level. So, you know, we obviously did in the end pull back from here. OK, what I just feel is absolutely lovely is the level that we pulled back to. So you can see here I've got marked key level 7,688. You might think, well, where are you getting that from? As you can see, it has been really closely resistance, resistance. But it's not just that. It's the 30th of September low, which obviously defined our range before hitting 7,400, which I will show you right now so this was the 30th of september low like obviously our drop down from 11k so from 11k this bottomed at 7688 before getting a rise in price swing failure patterning the high coming down to 7400 you will know i was buying 7400 we obviously had the very explosive move to the upside before you know losing our levels and grinding back down to our lows of around 6500 okay obviously swing failure in that to give us our 618 so you know everything thus far has been extremely technical and very very nice okay uh, which does now lead us up to, you know, that's the level we back tested and obviously held. Okay, I'll sh show you some really interesting charts. Actually, I'll, I'll just show you my Twitter um, posts because they have all the levels already marked on it. And it was this one. Okay, so this is, um, you know, what I was saying to my group while we were sat around here around 8k. I was saying, you know, I still envision that we're going to be pushing up to 7,000. Yes, yeah, this is six, uh, 786 basically, which was 7,295, 7,300, give or take five dollars, you know. Um, so yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, basically, when I was, you know, making these predictions that we're going to still push up to the 786, that was because here, you see, when we go from high to low, we hit the 786 and we got a very, very, very big rejection to the downside, uh, which if you watched my yesterday's video, you will know that that was predicted perfectly by Doge. Absolutely perfect short from the highs down to this low. <laughs> so make sure you watch yesterday's video if you haven't already. But um, yeah, that was lovely. So obviously from that short position, OK, we then were presented another short opportunity, which, you know, just had to take because, again, you're seeing a lot of different confluences. It's not just the 786. So, you, you know, get these confluences, you look to take them. OK, and that's obviously, you know, we did get that push up to 8290 with the 786 to the absolute dollar. OK, so that was another short taken by myself uh, where from that short taken, closed it totally closed out of that short and uh, went into a long position. And that was a long position from obviously here, 7,988, you know, looking for around, you know, the region of 8,100. Uh, we topped out in the end at 8,200, but we now sit again at 8,077. So I can just say that was a very good trade indeed. OK, so now that leaves us of where we are now. OK, so where we are now, I think, is a highly crucial area uh, for how this is going to proceed onwards. OK, so if I just load about this, OK, what we actually have is a, a, a very tightening range. OK, so I think there's a few factors that I can show you here that I think are going to be important. This top trend line, um, just the fact that our daily open was 8,200. So you're sitting in a $200 range, I want to say, OK, maybe $300 if we push the downside slightly. But, um, you know, really from 8,200 to 8,000 is a very tightening range okay and let's say we do drop to the downside here what we can envision is some sort of uh, triangle possibly playing out unless we just <laughs> fall straight down but uh, more likely that we get a tightening pattern going on so if we do drop to the downside really you know might stretch it to four hundred dollars between seven thousand eight hundred and eight thousand two hundred is a tightening range that we have going on here uh, that i am expecting to play out on bitcoin okay so yeah that that is you know if i have to just give you 
two important levels, I'd say 8,000 to 8,200. And you could trade, you know, breaking 8,200, look to trade it, you know, at least to 8,300, $100 move, um, you know, if, if not higher. But 8,200 is currently topping the market, okay? You know, it's a really big level here, 8,200. 8,300 is then your monthly, which you'd like to claim to you really push on higher. And on the flip side, you've got 8,000 psychological still intact. Okay, and then below that, you've got 8,000, 7,861 is your weekly. Okay, um, so, you know, those are the really, really, really key levels that I truly believe are going to be, you know, hit. And then it's like waiting for the reaction off of these levels. So, obviously, the two options now are you push up to 8,002 or you come down to really this 8779 region, okay? Um, where you, you know, one would generally look to long support and short resistance, unless, you know, unless you're waiting for confirmation and you wait for support to be broken and flipped into resistance, where obviously then you look for shorts or resistance to be broken, flipped into support, where then you look for long. So, um, you know, I'm just giving you the information in this video. I'm not going to tell you how to trade it, uh, but, you know, that is what you need to be aware of if you really want to make a ne your next trade successful. Okay, so those are the levels I believe are truly, truly very crucial to the market. Okay, um, yeah, and you know, at, at the moment, the volume obviously is tapering off, open interest is increasing though. So, I do feel that the next move is going to have some follow through. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I wanted to cover in this video a short video explaining how we got to this level, how the, you know, the technical levels have just been performing very nicely. But now is a time of patience, okay? And, and as a trader, one must have the patience okay let's say for instance on this short on this short here you know you could have shorted straight away at 7600 and then price goes up to you know 7300 and if you don't have the patience to wait for these setups you know i did have the patience you know waiting for the moves up here and you know if you don't have that patience now to either wait for the increase in price or you know wait for the drop in price if you're trying to trade the middle of this range you're, you're, you're more than likely you're going to lose money okay so you have to have the patience now for the setup to come to yourself okay don't try and trade the middle of this range because I, I do think you'll lose um you know you just want to have the patience wait for the setup to present itself come to you take the trade uh, and then you have the upper hand okay you're not trying to guess the market you're actually waiting for the market to come to you you know and then give you the reaction to trade um so you know that's my word of wisdom i suppose that i would say right now wait for this to come to you do not try and chase it at 8070 i do believe this is a poor trading area right now unless you're scope trading on like like the five minute chart which you can trade here if anything else unless you're a sculptor i would say don't try and trade this you're probably not going to do well okay uh so yeah that's what i'm looking for for more of a sculpt trade those are the levels i'm looking to trade from and uh yeah this was more just for a quick update uh to show you how we got here what i'm now waiting for okay so I'm, i want to see the drop in price really for a support or a, you know an increase and hold of, of resistance for a, uh, a long or just obviously for a rejection i'll take the short position i hold zero bias uh, on these like lower term time frames we'll just trade it level to level but as we are not at a level right now obviously i'm not taking a trade uh so you know that's my plan that's what i'm looking for um yeah I suppose thank you for watching the video. If you have enjoyed it, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. If you want some of these sort of real-time updates that I give, uh, you know, of levels that I'm looking for, trades that I'm taking, etc., 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 um, then, you know, that's obviously in the champions group of chart champions. But, uh, you know, that's if you would like any more. If not, then hope that you've enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one that I make, uh, where I'm absolutely sure we will have seen one of the levels touch and hopefully see some confirmation. Uh, so I'll give you an update if and when that happens. So thank you once again from the bottom of my heart, everyone. I just want to say happy 2020. Hope that you are doing very, very, very good. I just want to real, really surround myself with positivity. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a brilliant, brilliant 2020. I hope that you truly complete all your goals, whether that is trading or just anything else in life. Maybe you want to be a you you want to be the best builder in the world. Well, in that case, I hope that you are the best builder in the world. Whatever you have a dream of doing, I hope that you complete it. Um, yeah, thank you so much, and just have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. I send all my love and regards. Thank you so much once again, and goodbye. Cheers.